Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to another stream. Hello. So today we, sorry, today, sorry again. Today we are going to model this thing right here. See this something. This vertical take off aircraft uh, something. Okay, this concept art uh, made by this guy name is uh, Alexi Pet Pro. Okay, all credits goes to him. So today we are going to model this thing. Okay, as we are going to make this body, then the uh, wings and everything. I hope I can finish it in three hours, maybe. And anyway, we'll try. I'm gonna move this image to here. Okay. By the way, thanks for joining the stream, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So first, I'm going to change this background for me. Then we will start with the plane. Okay. Then draw it here. Maybe this much. Okay, now I'm gonna change the material to a white one. Okay, and I'm gonna save this project. Uh, aircraft already there, so maybe it's a C. Okay, we saved our project, so I'm gonna move this under here. Then, being the right side panel, we'll uh, reduce the segments, height and width segments. Okay, then. Okay. okay, then I will convert to this one to editable poly. Oh. Then I will select this edge right here and select this one. Then I will move it to here. Okay. Here. And I'm going to reduce the length of this search is okay and I will move this whole plane to here check the image okay I will select both of these edges or we can add sorry select this one here then extrude it by holding shift and left click like this then select this vertex I am going to select this vertex right here and I am going to move this to here Okay, like this. Also, I'm going to move this vertex to here. Okay, this will be our uh, aircraft's front part. Okay, something. Direct to this face and I will align to uh, maybe Y direction. We check on again. I 
we don't need to align the face this okay we need it like this so maybe we need to uh, decrease the height and increase the length here okay and then now i'm gonna connect This much height for the front part. <clears throat> also, we need a little more width right here. I'm going to select this edge right here. Then I will extrude to this side. Okay, then we will build these parts together like uh, this. This, okay, it's better. Okay, now I'm going to select these edges, go to the front view, then we will extrude it from here, okay, I will show you, hold on shift, then we will go around maybe to here, okay, so we need to check the image one more time. And I think we need to move this vertex to here. Okay. We need one more uh, edge right here. So I'm gonna select this, all these edges, then connect with the one segments. Or also like this. Okay. Like a curve in the picture, maybe. Okay, anyway, we'll do like this. Uh, can you welcome the stream? Are you making the cockpit right now? No, it's, I'm making this uh, body part right now. You can see, I'll show you one more time. See uh, this, uh, this part right here, like a box, you know. Okay, we are not going to make the interior okay it may uh, this might uh, long took lo so long to you know okay so your okay never mind so i'm gonna select this edges again Maybe we don't need this one. I'm going to select this edge. Okay, then I think we need to select both of them and extrude one more time. Then if I select this one and move it to around here yeah, this will be the body uh, the back part of the uh, aircraft so I'm gonna select 
select this uh, edge right here then extrude to the other side like we did it for the front part and I'm gonna build it Okay, like this. Okay. Maybe we need to adjust the length. Sorry, I think. This is how it look like look after we apply a turbo smooth okay so it's fine now i need to say i have a copy let's don't forget to like share and subscribe wait thanks again welcome to the stream <coughs> so now now we need to I'm going to select uh, this part uh, then move it to here I'm going to select this area then we will jam for it okay like uh, like this third segments or maybe with segments the minute order segment right yes this much check again In here I'm gonna keep this keep like this so now we need to connect the bottom part so I'm gonna select this edge okay wait nope I'm gonna select all three edges and then this one also then I will extrude to the other side like this Okay, now we can chamfer the bottom part also. I'm going to select these edges, not this one. So we don't need this one right here. I'm going to chamfer it again. Wait. this okay maybe we need to adjust the height a little bit now select these vertexes and move it to here then if I turn for it will work fine right we need to we need to close this uh, hole right here so i'm going to select this this border okay then i will cap it like this so if something happened there so i'm going to undo it is, this is because we didn't uh, build these parts right here so before Closing that gap, I'm going to add this symmetry right here on the y direction with the flip. Okay, thanks for subscription, bro. Jean, Sam, welcome to stream. Oh, this is very cool. Looks like a condo from BF 2042. Wait a few, yes, yes. 
okay i'm going to add this symmetry like this okay maybe with a little bit with like this okay it's fine right okay i'm going to collapse everything then I am going to close this uh, gap right here. Okay. And also maybe I am going to remove this <coughs> edge right here. And also and also this one and also this one. this also in the front part we don't need all these edges okay. to uh, close this gap Something so I think we here are the smoothing groups. Okay, now it's fine, I think. Yep, it's fine. Let me check into this uh, subdivision. Yes, fine. Okay, so I'm going to save a copy. I'm going to work under stream, finish potato, work under stream. Okay, now we are going to make the wings, okay? Part. I think we may we need to jump for this part. We check it. Yes, we need to do it. so. We increase the size. It's okay with a few more segments. Fine, right? I hope this uh, matches our uh, reference image. Yeah, bro, I'm a little difficult. Yes, I hope so. It's uh, this is going to be difficult to make. Anyway, guys, we will try, okay. Okay, now we are going to make these wings. Okay, for the wings, I am going to make a box from here. Welcome, thanks for the description. Thanks for joining the stream, bro. Okay, for the wings, I am going to use this box right here. Okay, one more time I need to check. Okay. I think our uh, aircraft will look different when we finish the uh, modeling. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to create this box right here. Then apply a new material from here. Yeah, and I will place it here. Okay, 
may be here and i'm gonna adjust the height with height and the length like this maybe we need to rotate these uh, parts yes so, <coughs> so we need to rotate the wings also it will be like like this right it and it's like yep it's okay so i'm gonna uh, align this box uh, to our bo uh, body of the aircraft okay like this to place inside the mesh okay, maybe we turn just just the height maybe yes a little bit tight okay it's like that so now now we need to create the wings okay we will start with the plane then we will do the rest so i'm gonna go to the top view plane from here like this okay then i'm gonna convert this one to poly a table poly oh, then Okay, hold on guys um, yeah, okay okay now i am gonna select this vertex right here and i'm gonna move this one to here okay then add one more segments right here for only for this part then uh, i'm gonna select this vertex and move it to here like this maybe you don't need this much length i'm gonna move everything to here no no then we need to extrude right extrude one more time maybe we don't need to decrease the length so i'm gonna select this edge right here extrude one more time hold on shift okay like this we will okay just like that so now we need to okay Just hold on we need to apply material for the wings and move it here okay now i will arrange after finishing the wings okay so so now i'm gonna keep it like this I'm gonna rotate and see finish the wings. So I'm gonna keep it like this for now. Okay, I'm gonna select this edge right here, then move it a little bit more like this. Okay, now I'm gonna select this part right here. Then expand also this part the next row to this. Okay. Then maybe we don't need this much height. 
then if i move this it's right here to inside this okay then i'm going to extrude sorry select this one and to move it to the this side then we can connect to these edges like the bridge okay like this so i am going to select uh, this uh, top part right here <coughs> and i am going to extrude select the scale i am going to use w e r the class time so or you can just come here just click this scale uniform scale okay so i'm going to select this then scale down this one to here okay And here maybe we need to give a copy okay now isolate this part to add extra segments for this wings here and we need to extrude right i'm going to select all these faces hold hold down control okay then double click i'll show you click on face then double click like this by uh, after holding the control okay then i'm going to extrude this to local normal select this face right here to align with the y direction like this yeah. Try this uh, rotation. No, yes, we can rotate it. Okay, later. So now I'm gonna do the same thing for this part. I'm gonna select this uh, edges right here. I'm gonna extrude it down. This Say it like this. So this part. Then we will bridge together. Up, sorry. Like this. Okay. Once we did that part, we need to bridge this part also. But it won't work, so I think we need to bridge this one and this one, maybe. Yes, then we can uh, close this gap into it in between them. See, like this. Okay. Maybe we don't need this edge. Right, remove this. Okay, yeah. 
we will delete later or we can just move like this it's a matter so i'm gonna keep it like this so now okay don't take sure welcome to stream hi so now <coughs> we need to finish the wings right so i'm gonna create one more box okay or maybe we can adjust this one and move it like this it's also we can So I'm gonna model this part. I'll show you this, this part, this thruster maybe, main engine area. Okay, I'm gonna model this one. Okay, the shape will be a box. Okay, I'm gonna model it. Before that, I'm going to save the mesh. I mean the project. Okay, the front view and a box like this first. Depth and I'm going to change the material. Place it here. Okay. So this part will also will be like this i will show you i am going to rotate this one and these wings like this see ok so now i am going to ok someone subscribed thanks for the subscription bro i don't see your name so here let me check the pick it will be like a triangle right yes it will be like a triangle so i am gonna edit convert to this one to editable poly and select this face right here and scale it down first like this now I'm gonna add two more segments. Wait, I'm gonna select these edges. Add two more segments in the center like this. Then we will bevel it both sides. We will add one more segments in this in this side. Two more, okay. Two more segments like this. Then we can extrude this part. Like this. You can see this part clearly in the picture so okay i'm gonna extrude this then i'm gonna move this edge right here to the top like this okay so i'm gonna go to the left view so you can adjust the depth a little bit more like this So I think we need to change this right here. Right. We don't need to change this. 
biome. Maybe we need to change the size. Wait. Maybe copy. Okay, then I'm going to select all these places. Make the we don't need this side. This one and this one. Then I'm gonna insert it okay like this. Then we will extrude inside with this this local normal like this. Okay, and I'm gonna uh, insert this this part right here one more time. Okay, hold on, select uh, three of them, and we will extrude inside like this. Okay, and I'm gonna select this. Faces three and no extrude one more time. So I'm going to change the size, not the size. I'm going to fix it like this. And the center may be like this. Okay. Time, I'm going to say copy. Engineering working the same. Okay. Guys, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'm going to do the same thing we did it for this part. I'm going to select this. Okay, hold on. I'm going to select this one, these faces. Then I will insert like this and extrude it little inside. Maybe extrude it outside. Let me check. No, no, we need to extrude inside. Okay. Nice. Then I'm going to select these faces right here and insert one more time. For the thrusters, you know. And I'm going to bevel it maybe. Yes. Like this. Okay. Let me check with this solution. Okay. So now I need to check the image. Hold on, guys. Okay. Now we need to add some detail in this part. So I'm going to select this one, these three edges. And I'm going to insert this parts like this. The next two inside, okay, like this. And we can also, if you want to chamfer it like this, I will show you.
we can reduce the tension or relax arteries like this okay so now we need to chamfer this parts this edge is right here i'm going to select it then we chamfer it can add I think that's it so now we need to add us one more thing in the wings <laughs> Before that, I need to add this. I need to select this. Sorry, these parts maybe here. Oh, no, me here. Okay, or we can add a few more edges like this. Then select these parts, extrude outside like this then select these faces and set one more time and we can bridge these faces like uh, this now so i'm gonna say i uh, select these edges you can jump for it Okay, or we can uh, see these faces. Yeah. Okay. I think we need to bridge the right. Yes, and we can add one more bridge with an inset and. Hello bro, okay, again I can't, I don't think I can read that name, you, anyway, welcome to the stream. I'm gonna move these edges, like this, okay, these uh, parts of the mesh, I don't think we, it's uh, in the picture, I mean the reference image, okay, I'm just uh, modeling okay i'm gonna select these edges and i'm gonna jump for it like this now we need to add this thing i'll show you this round part okay this uh, actually is for to rotate this thr thrusters maybe okay, I'm gonna add that or I'm gonna save the project guys don't forget to like share and subscribe okay we are new here okay now we need to add that part I'm gonna make a cylinder okay Front, uh, front view uh, the, I'm going to add this cylinder right here this ok play material Increase the height. Like this. 
maybe few more segments and we are on 30 34 also i'm going to convert this one to editable poly think we don't need this much size so i'm going to reduce the size like this then i'm going to insert this part Okay, and we can bevel it to like this. Nope. Okay, hold on. We don't need to insert before beveling, so I'm gonna bevel it before uh, without insert. Now we can insert a little bit like this. Then we can bevel one more time. This one to here. To here. Okay, I'm gonna add one more uh, segments here and I will extrude this one. This. Can same for this. Uh, just like this so we can add turbo smooth better maybe we don't need this much seconds so we can select a few of uh, I'm going to select a few faces from this cylinder set this it will extrude a little bit okay, if I play this subdivision okay. we need to add a few more things in this part right here i'm gonna um, select this faces in this side insert it okay one more time insert it and i'm gonna extrude a little bit I don't like this uh, sharp edges, so maybe we need to same for this part. Okay. Okay, I'm going to remove this edge and this one right here. And if I okay, it's fine. Okay, if I chamfer, um, okay, now it's looking good. Same thing to this part. Okay. 
select these surges okay One second, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah so I have extruded this part okay for this bins uh, maybe okay I'm gonna add a few more uh, sorry I'm gonna go to this front view sorry left view I'm gonna add a few more things small little boxes right here like this okay then i want to change the material this and there just the values uh, place it here so we don't have to create uh, multiple boxes or so multiple parts I'm going to increase the height so the width maybe height yes so like this there's no I'm going to convert this one to a poly. Add an extra segment so to the safe loop here. And now, if I select this, uh, I just this one and this one. Either we can remove this, I just like this, or we can just move inside, okay like this okay i'm gonna keep it like this uh, here grab so i'm gonna just the uh, height maybe guys don't forget to like share and subscribe okay i'm gonna move it here Thing I need to rotate to align this with the wings. So here, yeah. okay. okay. Select this one, and I'm going to change the view to local so we can. Adjust 
the part to the local direction like this so we don't have to arrange manually so locate these meshes two or more like this i'm gonna move it here two more Now I'm gonna attach everything, okay? So we can maybe create another hole right here. That's it. Actually, this is this hole is not in the picture anyway. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna move it right here. And I can make a copy from this one. Hold on control and shift okay. Then clone to object for a, a completely new uh, part. And I'm gonna scale it down. We move to here. Okay, I'm gonna change it to wireframe to see inside. Then if we want to right, like this, it will look like this. Okay, I'm gonna rotate this. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna do that, so I'm gonna scale it little bit like this. So maybe decrease the height and like this. I'm gonna do to it okay I'm gonna duplicate on here Dot here maybe on more here make this okay Okay, I'm gonna attach these parts. LJ Elk Industry, anyone know his PC specs? Bro, I think it's in the description. No, right? Okay, bro, i7. Uh, 9th gen, sorry, i7 9700. Okay, 16 GB RAM, then okay, 8 GB 3050 TA, uh, sorry, not TA, uh, graphics card, then yes, okay, now, okay, now I'm gonna move this wing to no. I'm going to change this to view direction. Okay. I'm going to change uh, move these wings to here. Okay. 
okay then we have to extrude these inks from here to here okay let's feel here no save this a copy for back you know anything in the week wings maybe i think that's enough right okay one more thing i think we need to extrude this part this part's right here i'm gonna select Okay, I'm going to insert this part. Hold on, wait. We don't need to insert. I'm going to extrude like this. Maybe with this one, I'm going to extrude it. And with. Hold on. Maybe this one. Also, yes. So I'm going to extrude this one. I change this uh, sorry hold on I reduce the size like this this right here you can de either delete this part, this edge, or you can keep it. Okay, I'm gonna keep this edge. Okay, now I'm gonna rotate this uh, wings. Okay, copy two times. Okay. Rotate this wings. Okay, hold on. I think I need to scale this up right no, we don't need to scale it anymore okay i'm gonna um, rotate this one okay Rotate everything so i'm gonna rotate this one like this like this this maybe okay. we need to select this part before rotating shit okay like this okay sham we're gonna stream part we're gonna stream are you using Maya? No, bro, I'm using 3ds Max. Sean. Sean, I don't speak. Is that French? I don't speak that, bro. Can you type in English? Okay. Our wings is almost ready. Oops, now, uh, maybe we should increase the. Uh, this this part size i don't know it's name anyway i'm gonna increase the size and move it little inside like this and much length so i'm going to convert this into a tool poly uh, then we will do something maybe select this edge right here champ for a little bit maybe 
like this okay so it won't look like a just a symbol box maybe you should keep it like this so this side or maybe we don't need to do this side okay or we do Okay, now okay, I'm going to copy this uh, wings to the other side. Okay, okay, select this wings and go to this uh, group, uh, then group it then hold on shift then duplicate to other side and we can mirror to y direction okay nice we need to Okay, now to so, add what? Okay, maybe we need to create this part right here. Maybe them something for radar or something, or we can add this back side wings. Okay, we are going to make this wings right here. Okay, okay, thanks for the subscription. Was that? Okay, Kim, thanks for the discussion, bro. Okay, oh, now we are going to make this back side wings. Okay. For that, I am going to go to the front. Sorry. Guys, I am not going to do much that uh, detailing. Okay. It will take forever. So, I am going to go to the top part. And they start with a box like this, maybe this much. Okay, I'm gonna draw this here. Okay, then we change the material. Sorry, you can change the material. Also, we can adjust the height, size and length in here okay unity 3d path picking unity 3d uh, remix remix sci-fi modeling as well as almost, yeah, almost like sci-fi dima welcome to the stream path welcome to stream someone subscribe Okay, who was that? Freak, sorry, Frank. Thanks for the subscription, bro. Okay, now we are making this back wings. Hope this will be easy. So I'm gonna convert this sun also to editable poly. Okay, like this. Then I will select these or select these edges then I'll chamfer it this or before that we need to okay okay before that we need to uh, select this okay hold on we need to add a few segments here before we do anything and select this vertex here we'll 
now we can sum for the edges right here okay like this okay you know we need to select these faces we should uh, extrude these faces before chamfering anyway we will try extruding these parts like this okay okay it's okay nothing and so the uh, symmetry that's it now for the wings i'm going to start a sorry i'm going to create a box or plane maybe I think plane is better. In box is better. I'm gonna create a box right here. Like this. And change the material. This one around here. Then if I convert this one to editable poly, then move this vertex to here. Also, if I select this edge right here, and if I jump uh, like this, okay. for it okay before that we need to add a few segments here okay then we need to chamfer this side also no we don't need to do that okay we need to select this vertex maybe can them for this set right here so this part this I jump for this okay like this can jump for this this like like this something like this so now we need to I'm going to connect this vertex and the uh, this vertex right here okay right click cut select this one then place okay I'm going to connect it to this one okay click on it it will, be, it will connect to both of these vertex and i will select this face 
and I will extrude it like this. Okay, maybe we can also extrude this side part. like this right save a copy we can add one more thing or we can just Select this vertex. We move to there. Like this, and we can add a cylinder here. Yeah. Ask. <clears throat> I'm not sure what this is. Anyway, get this. Uh, then maybe we should reduce the radius a little bit. There is the height, then convert it to editable poly. You can bevel it. it. Okay, time. You can extrude it this time. This might be a part of the radar or something. I'm not sure. Then adjust the depth, okay. Here uh, we can Time for it, let me move it. Avoid these sharp edges. Also, maybe here. In the center, maybe we need to. something like this I'm gonna attach this one to here and move it here this a mirror to change the direction okay we can we can collapse to everything Okay, something like that for our uh, back wings part. We can add a few more things here. Select this face. Uh, we extrude it. Select these faces. Maybe in the x direction. Up. Y. Yes. So in this side, extrude it. Select all these faces right here. It's something like that. Now. 
to add something in the front part it looks like you know i'm going to save a copy okay no not a cylinder okay i will show you this part this with this gun then we will add this part right here and then the rest of the part maybe okay i'm gonna uh, model cylinder okay it's looking good right okay we can add a door around here maybe in the uh, left side okay i'm gonna go to the this front part and i will cylinder maybe okay i'm gonna draw this cylinder right here what it is my smooth tight range and all the spec for a smooth tight range uh in the last time under the card no change 4 gb 1050 at least you know the 1050 4 gb in the window with i3 to i3 1054 gb on the game that's why it runs here okay i'm gonna change this to 45 okay level can just read okay 1054 gb i3 and then you're going to run to the name latest 3d smacks in a picture area here and i think i'm just gonna tell you zero okay i'm gonna create the cylinder then maybe we don't need this much length okay we'll place it here convert it fully change material and i'm gonna select these faces then hold on control then press this edge okay so it will convert to this selection to edges then we can chamfer it see like this okay to so we can make something like this now we need to add a few edges right yes okay we need to add a few okay already here these see these edges right here i'm going to select it extrude it is the length and the depth little bit then one more time we need to select these edges like this then we will chamfer it so we can add turbo smooth or, or mesh smooth later okay i'm gonna place it in here then we need to add okay before that we need to add a box right that center part okay we need a few more edges here maybe on here then extrude it this okay we did that and um, i'm gonna select this body then uh, i'm gonna select this face convert the selection to edges by holding down the control like this hope it will work 
right yes like this okay then we need to create something from this part okay i'm gonna isolate this one select a few of these faces from this mesh a metallic feather right thanks for the subscription bro i'm going to select a few of the faces from here be around here let me we extrude it from here can just add a box right yes, that's a better way so i'm gonna go to fluff view create a box right in here change it to change the material the here and it is the front can convert to a table poly select these vertex and place it here okay also for this part and this one this edge right here you can we we need to add a segments right here okay. then we can move this I think we don't need that. Okay, wait. We need that. Here. Maybe. It's something like this. Okay. Now I'm going to select this face to and move it little bit like this let's search to here place it like this so I think we need to decrease the depth like this
Okay, like this. Uh, very different from our reference image anyway i'm gonna keep it like this okay so now we need to add a add an extra segments for the body we change if we change the uh, direction to x okay to arrange this manually so we don't lose the shape of the body okay i'm gonna select this one i'm gonna keep it like this it's almost a perfect line right so we can connect it from here then it will go here right we need to adjust this line also The line will start from here. It will go here. Hold on. Maybe can I add a line here? Yes. Okay. I'm going to select all these edges from here to here maybe okay then it will go around here mm. okay I will show you anyway okay I select these edges okay this one maybe this one i want to select manually okay so Okay, if I move to move this one to here and this part right here to here. So I'm going to extrude these lines. Okay. let me check the image one more time okay i think we can do it maybe here we have to add a door we don't need to need we don't need these lines okay so i'm gonna try this extrusion This is the line, okay? So goes it like this. Maybe the depth also.
yes like something like that okay i'm gonna uh, target build these together also maybe here We need to pause this edge part. Okay, once we activate this edge after selecting this vertex, this vertex will move around with these edges. Okay, around these edges, it will it won't go any further. So. So now add something we have something here in this picture these parts see I'm not sure it's this okay anyway I'm gonna model it the Guys, thanks. So, okay. Moki will kind of stream, Dima will kind of stream, that will kind of stream, Akil, Trusty adds hello, everyone will kind of stream, Aaron, thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for joining. Okay, I'm gonna create another box right here. So this uh, material and uh, I'm going to convert this one to a table poly again select this edge right here and maybe we have to select every edges I jump it like this nope now to move this edge first then this to here this one to here okay then like this okay I think we need to this also, this also to here. Okay, and this one to here. We don't need this much length for the mesh. Okay, now we can select every edges except maybe these. Right here, we turn for it. Okay, the, okay, I'm gonna keep this shape. Okay, this might be might not be the uh exact shape we saw in the picture okay i'm gonna keep this okay this one the, we can connect add up two more uh lily lily okay i'm gonna call this lily 
Okay, thanks for the question. Thanks for joining the stream. I'm going to select these edges, sorry, faces, except this one. And I'm going to insert uh, like this. And I'm gonna, okay, and I'm going to extrude it like this. Okay. Then we will uh, hold these edges the little will chamfering like this. This much length here, right? So I'm going to duplicate this one. Rusty, thanks for the subscription. This one to here, okay, with a little bit. I tend to depth maybe. Length. Okay. Now save a copy. Okay, we can add something in the top side, right? Okay, for that, I'm going to select, sorry, I'm going to add a few more segments here. Okay, we only need one, so I'm going to uh, change to edges. these like this maybe we don't we need to move a little bit like this like this maybe Okay, then I will select all these faces. We will extrude like this. Okay, before that, I need to weld this one to hear me. Now we can extrude it local normally. Also, we don't need this much depth in here. We only need this center part. Okay, so I'm going to reduce the depth of these uh, extrusion okay, we need to change to known here so we can move these parts like this 
Okay. This one maybe also. It's like a cup. Okay. Same. I'm gonna move this one here. Okay, just like that. Okay, we can add a symmetry so it will match to the other side later. like this guys don't forget to like share and subscribe okay if you are new here so now okay, we need to add a red arrow right? so that and nothing in the center okay, this one right right all the details in here okay we can't uh, do i mean we can model everything right now so i will uh, do the important parts okay so i'm gonna model this thing then maybe uh, this one maybe we we'll see okay we, we missed this part right here I think we missed so many parts, so now you will see. So, no worries, just listening way before I get into some 3D modeling. So, okay, thanks for the question, bro. Okay, I'm gonna save a copy, then we will add this. Okay, it's coming right. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna. Oops. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna add the symmetry to match with the other side. In the y direction, maybe. Hello, at what point of time do you think modeling the details will be a good idea once you feel okay up and right? Bro, I think it's uh, it will be good once you finish the base, uh, I mean the base mesh. Okay. Once you finish the base mesh, oh shit. You can do detailing, you can start detailing it. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the top view. Again, the cylinder like this. The different, sorry, with the material converted to poly. Okay, then we can. Bevel it a little bit. Hope the, this will be some red arrow. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna make it like this. Uh, then we can insert the bottom part like this. Okay. Then we can 
maybe we need to reduce the inset. Okay, then extrude it one more time. Select all these faces right here, then extrude. Okay. can chamfer this side so maybe we can And I wish this was on Blender. Okay, Moki, what are you making? Okay, some aircraft, bro. I saw it on the Google anyway. Okay, I'm gonna add a few extra edges right here. And I extrude it like this. this okay I'm gonna move it to the top and rotate to arrange with the body okay like this to this size maybe and select this one or maybe this one and connect to the other side of the vertex also this one to this one right okay then we can extrude it here Because we, your mesh is like sitting on a, a slope. That's why the scaling down doesn't work properly. So I need to change it manually. Okay, maybe like this. Okay, maybe like this. Or we can scale it down completely. To the match, right? Okay, something like this. So now we need to create a door in the left side, right? Next, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay.
I'm going to create a door. It will be a. I'll show you. Just a hole, maybe. Okay, we need to uh, collapse everything, the symmetry and everything. Then I'm going to select these faces. everything okay then I insert this part or maybe we can add extra segments here segment Okay, we'll isolate the part. But we can just move this edges below. Do these wings okay like this? We can create it. I mean, insert the door. this here we need to build these vertex then we can try extruding Okay. Okay, see this as we can't we need to disable this okay, maybe we need to align this uh y direction right yes we are gonna keep the door like this so like it's closed so we don't need to worry about the interior so much I'm going to keep the doors like this okay then I will select these edges and I will do a little chamfering and we will see some okay, shit so <clears throat> we need to select the rest of the edges for one more time You know, you can do the same thing in the back side. 
in a different way so i'm going to select these faces inset uh, maybe here like this then uh, convert the selection by holding down this control then we don't need this edge right here then if i extrude we can create something some uh, part like a door or it like this maybe something like this so we can temper it like this also this edge right here thing right here okay i'm gonna join it back into the stream thanks for the subscription bro mate rate mate what shyam krishna okay i don't i don't think i can read that name bro anyway thanks for the subscription okay no we need to add this thing i'll show you this part right here see this uh, almost like brown brown right behind this clown thanks for the discussion bro i'm gonna model this കറക്റ്റ് നീ കാണുന്നുണ്ട് ഞാൻ ക്യാഷ് ക്ലിയർ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് നല്ല മൈൻ ചെയ്തവരുടെ ഓക്കെ ഞാൻ കൂടെ ക്രിയേറ്റ് ബോക്സ് ഞാൻ ചേഞ്ച് മെറ്റീരിയൽ ഹിയർ Uh, let's check the peak okay if okay, we'll move it here around then is the height can I or just later i'm gonna add a segments so a segment here and then when i extrude it damn for it okay select this face right here and we will move it here maybe also we can select the search and ring it then we can add two more sections right here Okay, then we need um, to increase the height, right? Right. 
Okay, so I'm gonna move this mesh here. Then select these faces. That's the height like this. Phoenix set you can just stray. And we can adjust the part like this. I'm gonna keep it like this. Then we can select these edges. We can add this extrusion right here. Okay, you can also select all these searches right here. Correct. Okay, so we can add a turbo smooth finally if you want to. Okay, maybe temper this part little bit like take this, okay. So in here. To clear this whole thing groups. Okay. To create some shapes in here, okay. So I'm gonna moving forward. Thanks for the discussion, bro. Okay, I'm going to add a few segments here. Maybe we don't need to add. Select these faces, insert it. Then I'm going to select these edges and change to edge mode. If I move this on to here, then we can extrude these faces inside. We change, sorry, we select this these edges and then remove it. It will be like this. It. 
maybe we don't have to keep it like that so I'm gonna select these uh, <clears throat> places then insert my polygon like this okay then we will change to this edit sorry edge mode and keep it like this like a square shape okay see no this is the same not in a square shape can convert the selection to edge and we can extrude inside right that's not good okay so i'm not going to do that i'm going to undo it doesn't look good so i'm going to keep it like that now we need to add this part i will show you this uh, turret no or maybe target up oh. this probe right here right see this one right see this one we can add this uh, missiles right here so we are putting more okay i'm going to this uh, front view this line okay from here to here maybe okay then go to this rendering enable viewport change this material Okay, now to the center editable poly three segment side. I'm gonna add a few segments, maybe one, two, three, maybe four. this to here select everything okay then extrude like this okay like this engine welcome to the stream Okay, then now I'm gonna select this face, insert little bit, like this, okay, then bevel it maybe, then decrease the length.
something like this. And a holder of the box or something. Convert to the centered table poly. I'm going to change the shape to something like this. Maybe this surge also. Change the shape to Okay, thanks for the description, but I don't think I can read your name. Okay. Change the segments. Maybe I can add own segments right here. Can I just the hmm. right? Okay, something like this. Okay, I'm going to save the copy. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Next, I think... Guys, how does this look? I am sure looking good, right? Can add a few thrusters here. The top, okay. This it small cylinder, okay. Small. To change the material here. Right a little bit converted to a poly. Okay, insert this part. Then extrude, right? Extrude it. Set one more time. Extrude one more time. But this time it will be outside. Then chain convert the selection to edge. Stamp for it, maybe. Yeah. 
change this to this also we can change the material of this thruster to bench so the uh, emission color to the same system like that okay i'm going to duplicate this one to the other side and attach to the <coughs> and one more time i'm going to duplicate both of them to the left side or right side and Kelly, thanks for the discussion, bro. You can add a turret me also. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna create a symbol box right here. Okay, I'm gonna change the material. Okay, then convert to editable poly. Change this uh, edge position to here, maybe. Add a little bit sample in this side. and then start it see this part you see okay. um, bring these edges then we can add two more maybe one edge and then insert these faces like this then extrude it something like this you can also remove this just if you want to the front view we can add one more line here for this turret so i'm going to enable this in viewport to the center change the material right here change the thickness Then convert to editable poly. Add one more segments in here, maybe, and select all these faces right here and extrude it like this.
little bit suffering Maybe we don't need these edges, so we can also these, we can stand for it, this, okay nice, my mouse is, okay or maybe this one, these two here. Now we can connect these vertex uh, back. Okay. To leave these uh, sides blank. Okay, insert a little bit. Explode. Okay, like this. Okay, something like this. I'm gonna attach these two together. Here is something like this. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, I think we almost finished the model here. Okay, these missiles are maybe we can do it also. Maybe not. Can place it in here at the cylinder and box with a thing. else we can okay we forgot to add these uh, radar maybe I don't know okay. anything else we need to add? It's, I think that's it for our aircraft. Okay, someone subscribe uh, for I missed it. Sorry. Thanks for the subscription, bro.
guys i think that's it that was okay that's it for our aircraft model hope you guys learned anything from something from it so thanks for joining the stream if you have any doubts you can just comment we still need to add a few more things nothing sir at all from me we can still add this uh, missiles and this small small details right here okay Yes, if you want to ask something, you can just ask, okay? Or you can suggest a topic for our next tutorial. Okay, I will uh, detach the parts one more. Okay, this. See, these are the parts we made it for the aircraft. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna undo it. Hold on, I think we can render it. Okay, I'm gonna save one more time this copy. I'm gonna add this uh, V ray plane. Uh, okay, I'm, and we have to change the render to V ray. A material for V ray. Little bit of black. And I'm going to change the whole aircraft material to V ray. Uh, see, sir, thanks for the super chat for therapies. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna add this light, okay? Maybe re light. I'm going to change it to spear light maybe and options visible let's pick ok and change the radius to around this now to add this uh, I'll show you general We read the texture we have to see this one. 
I'm going to change this one to black. The this pixel width. Okay, if I change, sorry, if I render this in viewport. See how we look. We can just change the material. Guys, thanks for the hundred likes. Thanks for joining, everyone. Thanks for watching the stream. Okay, this is how it look. look. We are in the. I'm gonna stop it. Delete the light. Okay. Little black way. Change it to standard me. To change the material, okay. Nice. I'm gonna save a copy, guys. Sita, thanks for the description. Okay, okay. interesting to see your workflow. Keep up the good work. Thanks. For... Sometimes my 3D smack suddenly close crash. Maybe mu a right? Can my maybe because of your RAM? Maybe because of your GPU. Anyway, thanks for joining the stream. Gokan, thanks for joining the stream. Rusty. 3D Smax is known for that. Just make sure to say hello. Yes, you are right. Make sure you have saved your project multiple times. guys that is our uh, aircraft the concept made by alexi you can find his artwork inside art station uh, if you have any doubts you can just ask so, you can i can give you the project files if you want Upload it, okay. We'll upload it on drive. Guys, here is the link for our project. You guys can <clears throat> download if you want to. It will be 
uh, 3ds max file I have pinned it you can download it okay hey Karthi welcome to the stream Gaston, thanks for the subscription. Okay, Enrico, sorry, thanks for the subscription, bro. Guys, you can download the files if you want to. Link is in the chat. I have pinned it. Bro, Sri Ram, sorry, Sri Sharan, work in the stream. Bro, I need, sorry, bro, I need more tutorial on Real Engine. Sure, bro, sure. We will, we will do on Real Engine 5. Crazy Gaming. Welcome to the stream. So, guys, if you want to ask anything, you can just ask. Hold on, I will try to animate this thing. Only movement, okay? I'm not good at animation anyway. I'm gonna try the keyframes. I'm not sure if I can do this. Hold on. Auto key, set key, okay. I'm gonna press set key for this. Maybe around here, you can set key. Sure, it how it will look. Okay, I'm gonna. This is how we can make a simple animations. I'll show you. Okay, how to play right. Okay, there is no logic. See it. This is just a symbol, okay? No aircraft will fly like this, but if we can animate some basic, we can do something like this. Like this. Okay, so that's it for today. You can still download the file, it will be in Google Drive. So, anything you want to ask, you can still ask or you can in the stream. Okay, or you can suggest a topic for our next tutorial, something like that. Then, okay, guys, uh, everyone, thanks for joining the stream. Uh, we don't forget to like, okay. If if you are new here, just sub. Any organic models, bro? Organic models, I'm not sure about organic models, but I will try, bro. I will try anyway, okay? Uh,
Safar, welcome to the stream, bro. Thanks for joining. Guys, I think that's it. You can download the files, okay? It's in the um, pinned message section. And I, we will see you next time. 3D model, yes, you can download it, bro. Link is in the chat. You can check the top section, okay? You can see it in the you have pinned it. You can see it. Hopefully, you catch more of your streams when I can take care. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for joining the stream, everyone. Uh, and I will see you next time. Tank, okay, sure, bro. Suffer, okay, bro. We'll try, sorry, we'll try a tank also. Okay, guys, thanks for joining everyone again. See you next time. Bye bye. Even more subscription. S. thanks for subscription, bro. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining again. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care.